So I got started with Koha US shortly after we migrated. I am leading the acquisitions special interest group. Um, we um, talk about everything related to acquisitions, setting up your budgets and setting up your funds at the beginnings of the year, how to order both EDI and non-EDI ordering, how to adjust your budgets during the during the year, what are, what are some of the different ways to do that. Also, purchase suggestions and just all the ways that different libraries use that. A lot of times we, we discuss, wouldn't it be nice if kinds of things. So that, um, that has really helped clarify when you have you know, uh, large and small public libraries and ac academic libraries and special libraries when we're all talking together and we all say, hey, yeah, this would be really good. Um, so that when we present it to the developers and stuff, we, we've got some backing behind it. Um, we've got some stuff going through the development process right now that we that has come out of the state. So it's, it's really helpful. <laughs> it just makes the whole experience of using Koha feel more like uh, a group effort. It would be really great if we could mentor new libraries that are coming on to Koha and show them the value of acquisitions. I think since our, our special interest group has started, we've been able to raise the level of awareness of acquisitions. Acquisitions, when we started, was a fairly new module and didn't have a lot of function. Um, to it, but with the special interest group, I think we bring credibility to the requests and that people can see that what really would benefit libraries, I jokingly really say, as acquisition goes, so goes the rest of the library, because if you can't get those books in and get them paid for and get them processed, people notice. You know, usually they don't notice that stuff because it works you know, pretty well, but if you can get that to get the acquisitions part of the really that's really great and it, it is a benefit to the whole library.